Welcome to our Too Posh podcast, everyone. Um, welcome to my beautiful co-host, my daughter Marcella. Hello. And we are without our Whitley today, sadly, yeah. but she will be back next week. And better be sp- <laughs> right. <laughs> and welcome, Spider, Hello. our wonderful technician, always fixing everything, helping us, helping us out doing the show. We love having you. And we are welcoming back the most amazing <laughs> Miss Sapphire. Hi, everyone again. <laughs> Thank you for being back and spending another hour with us. Thank you all for having me. <laughs> we are so excited you are here. We already feel better. Your spirit <laughs> gave us in the hour before. Oh. Everyone go and listen to who Chris Sapphire is, yes. what he's all about. Thank you. His beautiful spirit and Thank teaching you. us how to be calm and not anxious and Thank all you. those things. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, you're going to want to listen to it. Oh, yeah. I appreciate it. And if you're eating right now, put some more cheese on it, honey. <laughs> more <laughs> cheese on it. <laughs> that brings me to a question really quick. We're going to do this show. We're going to talk about Dancing Queen that Chris starred in as well and Marcella the show that is taking over the world, I feel like. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, but I wanted to ask you you and Alyssa both, the one-liners, like what? where do they come from? Are they stored oh. in your head? <laughs> it's like they make me Quick laugh wit. so hard. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> They're just in there. You know, I oh, they just come out of nowhere, and I thank God for them. <laughs> um, God, so there is no, like... Um, dictionary that <laughs> no. like you can go study these things <laughs> no 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 they just <laughs> i don't know how by observation or something i just bloop 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 and they just come out I, like the cheese one right yeah, now. I know. Know. where did that come out? i don't know think. so don't when know. you and ellis are together yes is this back and forth <laughs> It dying is, laughing i i don't know i would have to ask people that observe Around. us because when i'm listening to her i think she is the hugest personality i have ever met or known or seen her energy level is a million all the time mm-hmm. and i don't know i would have to ask an observer this is really funny but we're gonna talk about Alyssa edwards is yes. the famous um drag queen from rupaul's drag race was yes. on the show for two Twice, correct? Couple yes, she's Couple times. yes. Oh, she's been on there a lot. Yes, yeah, yeah. all star stuff, right? Yes, mm-hmm. yeah. And um, put together a show, a um, docu series for Netflix called Dancing Queen. Yes, that premiered on October fifth. To mm-hmm. unbelievable um, critiques from everyone. Everyone just loves the show. Calls it triumphant. The most. It's amazing. hard to find a negative, which <laughs> yeah, it really is. I mean, I'm. I've you tried. Know, there's people because I was I was ready t- for both, and I was like, "Well, we have to be prepared for both." You have to go digging to find negative. Definitely I, on you, and it's not sure. even that bad. I it wasn't even that bad. No, mm-hmm. no. they talk about the filter, but I'm like, I love the filter. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> I love the filter. filter on, man. <laughs> Someone goes when the cows even have a filter. Yeah. <laughs> yes, oh, yeah. Yeah. that's so genius. <laughs> I I'm g- grateful for that filter because a lot of us wear makeup and stuff. And hey, I love a good filter. Me so. too. I'm not mad about it. I do so too. I think it's funny. <laughs> it's it's funny. It's it's awesome though, but. I mean, this stuff has had millions of views and now everyone is kind of sitting and waiting, hopefully, hoping for a season two. Mm -hmm. Um, No one really knows when we find out. Um, I just know that the world wants it so so badly. (laughs) Those people are writing on Twitter, on Uh YouTube. They're writing everywhere. And the reviews were so good. Thank you, America. Yeah. Thank you, the world, too. The The world. Yeah. Yeah. I for, yeah, you're right. The 190 world. 190 countries. 190 countries. The whole world. When you think that through, <laughs> it's really crazy. And me being from Austria, I my whole family can change the language and they yes. can all watch it in German. So that's oh, what's wow, really you're funny. from Austria? Yes. How cool. Yeah. So it's very funny for them yes. to hear Marcella speak in German. <laughs> yes. And, and they're hearing you speak in German. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, my God. Austria is gorgeous. Uh-huh. So beautiful. When did you come to the States? Oh, a long time ago. God. It's a long story. We're going to have margaritas over there. Oh, yes. Oh my she was God. in her 20s. That's mm. beautiful. Mm. I, I, Austria's sound of music, right? They yes. Like, oh, so, gorgeous. Yes. So pretty mm-hmm. there. So, um, Alyssa Edwards is like bigger than life. Mm-hmm. We have known Justin is his name yes. in real life. 
Uh, mm-hmm. for for many years and we adore and love him you you told us before that you met him yeah, in like a, 10 years ago 10 years ago almost, yeah 10 and years and then did his makeup i never or, got around oh, to doing didn't. his makeup okay. but we just hit it off the last i want to say five years is when we become even closer than ever to the point where i mean now we travel together wow travel the country together and i'm at his house all the time he called we talk on the phone all the time it's a true, genuine friendship. friendship. We, I love him to death. I support him. I have his back. I'm, I'm genuinely happy for his success. So are we. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and people wonder, is there any, like, rivalries or any? No, because. But I think it's because of he and you, too. But he is so, like, when I'm with him, he wants everyone to succeed. Like, yes. he told us, he said, there's enough room for everyone to be successful. There and is. I love, I think he puts off that energy so then when other people are around him, you genuinely are happy for him and he wants you to be successful too. I think that that's what's so awesome about him. Mm-hmm, I agree. As well. and, I, and I think that those blessings falling on him, it's because he's able to handle them. Mm-hmm. And all of us, you know, we all worked in different careers and stuff, mm-hmm. but going on this show, I feel like it was a learning experience for a lot of us too. Yeah. And so, yeah, God gives you what he can, you know, he knows you can handle when you can handle it. You and said so, amen Alyssa to that. is an angel and spreading angel dust in the world. She <laughs> is. <laughs> so yeah, I love that. She is. I mean, that's really how it feels. And I, I have said um, many times when this all happened and when it all came about and when then I actually watched it, I think something within me said, this is crazy. Mm-hmm. Think about the billions of people in this world. Yes. And then for fate, f- faith, whatever you want to yes. call it, yes. for the you people yes. to be in the same space yes. in this <laughs> moment in time <laughs> yes. for this to happen yes. is blows my mind when I think about it that way. And and it is beautiful yeah. it is beautiful how every detail worked out to get everybody exactly where they need to be isn't that unbelievable it's magical it's magical it is. that's the best word magical yes. is a magical. great word for it and my hope and yes. my prayer is truly daily yes that everyone involved can have this feeling forever yes. and not get caught up in craziness negativity I feel like everyone needs to have Justin on a pedestal and celebrate him Yes, for all that's happening. I yes. mean, it is unbelievable. It is absolutely unbelievable. Um, right now, we're just seeing him on a Tazo T commercial. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> and it's like how fast these things are moving and going. Right. And I have a wonderful feeling that not only will we have season two, I have a wonderful feeling it's going to be all the way to season 10, 11, 12, because he has this ability to energize the world that it just never ends and and i even like to see more of him me too i do too uh-huh. you know <laughs> yeah i, I can disattach from being on the show to just being an outsider looking at it and going yes. i want more i walked me into too. uh my my dad's house and he was watching the show and <laughs> cracking up and i was like what the hell are you watching yeah. i saw it and was like oh damn okay somebody said they saw someone watching it on an airplane oh, yeah. i had friends message me i didn't even tell you this uh one of my girlfriend's girlfriends messaged me. She was like, girl, I was at brunch and people were talking about Dancing Queen. I just wanted to tell yes. you it's so cool. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so crazy. It is crazy. Mm-hmm. It's insane. I was just at the State Fair of Texas and like three girls came up to me to say they're watching it. And I was uh-huh. like, which time? Because it looked like you were at the fair every day. day. <laughs> no, no, I, I was there. It was like around nighttime and I was eating some hot Cheetos with chili cheese oh, and all that. That looked so good. And it was so weird. These girls, the way they approached me, they approached me like if they've known me forever uh-huh. and i love that they felt comfortable enough to think of me as like a homie like that yeah. i said yay uh-huh. that, that was cool that happened, happened to me in the arboretum yeah i for one second i thought that i knew the people that they go marcella and i was like hi yeah. <laughs> so my, you're searching like, your brain figuring oh, out where back because i didn't want to be rude people. i hate yeah. when i'm like don't know someone and they're like can we get a picture i was like Yes. Did you watch the show? They're like, yes. And these girls asking about, are you Marcella from Dancing Queen? I was like, yeah, that's so cool. It's so crazy. So cool. <laughs> and you did really good. Thank you. I was watching you Thank and I said, you. that's really good. Thank you. So calm. <laughs> doing your interviews. Oh, Thank, you. Really Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Calm until 
one part, part but that, like, girl you put up with them dance moms so good <laughs> thank you my goodness there would have been a knife involved with me <laughs> right or tension headaches like, yeah. tension headaches I might have had those in the car oh but, yeah. my goodness <laughs> but you Chris yes you had I feel like you were on every episode like I feel like you were part of everything it was weird because I, I, you were at the wedding at the wedding real briefly at the wedding but like what were you there to, yes i mean what was that like to just be there i mean that was yeah, amazing it looked amazing that wedding it was the coolest wedding i've ever been to <laughs> yeah I colors wish I was there. oh, Col- I, know. oh I, I wish y'all would have seen what, it it had me mesmerized I, yeah. watching it oh it was mesmerizing so colors much glitter and glitter and neon lights and everybody dressed up in space cowboy was the theme <laughs> and we got there and it was cocktails and oh my god it was beautiful so much fun it looked like it was and my friend owned that ranch so once again how small this yeah. world is wow. that they had my friend's venue there and i thought this is so incredible so surreal and i just recently healed from wearing those boots like, <laughs> i wore cowboy boots this was in november of last year i wore cowboy boots and just recently my feet are back to normal what happened to why, why? What well happened? i i didn't know cowboy boots are supposed to wear certain socks like cushion or yeah. socks i wore thin socks i was like ah, let me just slide them on and go girl my toenails the next day there was blood under oh. them and that takes a long time for yeah. that to grow out. And it finally all grew out. And I look at my feet and I'm like, thank you, God, my feet are normal again. Because <laughs> it's like, how embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, well, you're you just were talking about toenails on the last <laughs> yes. one. Yes. And I want to have beautiful <laughs> feet. And so that finally grew out. Thank God. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> Almost a year later. Damn mm. it. Cowboy boots. Cowboy mm. boots. So now y'all know if you wear cowboy boots, put thick put socks. Thick socks <laughs> yes. <laughs> We learn. Uh-huh. Oh, I forgot all about to tell y'all that just yesterday there was Emmy history made. Did you hear this? Mm-mm. No. Um, RuPaul's Drag Race not only was RuPaul won an Emmy for Best Host, but it also won for Best Reality Series. And this is the first time ever that any show has won an Emmy for both. Whoa! Oh, wow. Congrats, That's Drag Race. Yeah, mm-hmm. that is really unbelievable. I forgot to tell you all that. I is Drag Race worldwide? No, I don't no. know. No, it's got it's a worldwide phenomenon in the sense that people are aware of it and people leak it and watch it online. Okay, but, but Drag it's Race not. airs in the United States and I believe in the United Kingdom. I believe okay. they they've now licensed it that way. And there's a drag race in the Philippines. I believe it's in the Philippines. They licensed out their brand, but it's not RuPaul. But isn't that amazing? The Dancing Queen, like, it. sometimes you have to wrap your head around that it is not just here. Like, it almost freaks me out that, like, it's... Globally? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. But Alyssa's fan base is global. I know. Which is insane. I mean, one of the episodes, she's in Spain. I was going to talk yeah. about that episode because yes. you crack me up so much with the big blonde wig oh the wig yeah, yes yes oh <laughs> my god and then you go what did you say you go oh it makes me look skinny <laughs> it makes me look skinny i feel like i look like shaquille o'neal on drag and <laughs> oh yeah why well, i mean i can't why is shaquille o'neal what, what well because we're both that? tall and big old men and dudes and but, all my life they've always wanted to get me in drag and i i never wanted to put on fake boobs and and, <laughs> and hair i just love makeup and and, and glamour but it was I just think not you my would thing. be such a beautiful drag queen. Thank though. you. But that's so you've just, never done drag? I've never done drag. I mean, girl, if I have bloody nails with <laughs> cowboy boots, can you <laughs> imagine <laughs> in high heels? It'd yeah. be crazy. <laughs> wow, that um it's it's just also crazy to me. It's like I feel like it's a big rainbow that came down from the sky. Yes. <laughs> and that touched you. <laughs> you. Oh. It, All the people in the yes. show. Oh, you were feel. in there too. Yeah, you were in there for oh, a second. Walking, <laughs> walking through the doors. Uh, yeah. Every time. And making margaritas. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that That's was, fabulous. That Did you notice that? Was I my love margarita margaritas. <laughs> my mom brought a margarita machine up to the oh, studio. Oh, thank God for you. I tried. I, I tried it. to calm these parents down. It didn't work. It probably got them rowdier. <laughs> yeah. It did. It, was, it didn't work. Yeah. I was like, man. Oh. <laughs> I tried the tequila route. It did oh. not work. 
<laughs> I love a good margarita. Ooh, I do too. Yes. Mm-hmm. They got to be real strong where you barely sip it. You're like, ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Girl, by the end of the night, you feel like the most confident human in the world. You That's know? my favorite. Tequila. I love it. It's too. my favorite drink. Oh, it's so strong. Mm-hmm. So tell us about the music video in the bowling alley. The bowling alley uh, scene was, well, first and foremost, I didn't know that when you're on the little lane that it's so slippery. Yes. Yeah. I didn't know that. They oil them. Right. I didn't know that. <laughs> so when we're standing there, now we got to dance. They're like, wait, wait, wait. I'll be careful. You know, don't don't fall. And thankfully, we didn't. We're wearing bowling shoes. And it was so much fun. Um, How long I, did that take to shoot? It took a good minute, and I believe that was in the summertime. And uh. girl, sweaty boots, <laughs> sweaty boots in a bowling alley. And uh, I enjoyed it though. All the homies were there. Everybody was there. We had a great time. And with Alyssa, it's like you don't have room to think, be shy, or anything. When you're there, it's showtime. Uh-huh. So you're gonna sing, you're gonna dance, you're gonna tap dance, you're gonna do something, <laughs> but you're gonna do it. <laughs> And thankfully, I've had on air experience where I was like, let's do it. You know, mm-hmm. thug you life. are so natural on there, though. Like, oh I gosh. love I think for me, I love when you guys are in the store. Oh, yeah. oh, oh my God. I Shopping was, for drugs. Yes, kidding. Was, thank you. I just love it. And I I don't know. I feel like you just are so natural. Like well, you two together you. is. I wish there would have uh, there was so much more that went on there. I don't know if I can talk it about it, surprise me. but <laughs> I, I wish some other stuff would have been edited in that Mm -hmm. but i i do uh love the energy of the show it's very friendly and kind but i will be honest as a person who loves pop culture and studies it and eats it up god willing season two three four five i'll tell you if y'all thought this is good just (laughs) wait (laughs) just wait once you show a kid how to run and ride a bike they will ride that bike and start doing willies Mm -hmm. and i feel like everybody on that show will start doing willies i I feel like we'll all be um if there is one i think more comfortable more confident and being i I think you forget that there's cameras eventually right i would forget the mic was on sometimes i was like yes Oh shit, we're filming. Oh, I don't I even know. remember. Because oh, was... Justin is so good and Alyssa is so good about because she's been on TV for so long. Yes. She knows, and I feel like we would all get better. Yes. So the show would just get better. Oh, it'll get so much better, I yeah. believe. It's already so really, too. really good, but it'll get it is surprisingly good. I think it, it, it surprises everyone. It does. Mm-hmm. And and I remember when we were all anticipating its mm. release. Yes. Mm. I was. I remember being at home, really having to meditate and <laughs> same, same, right? You know, because I recently got to the point where I learned about the imagination and how you know yeah. don't entertain. I recently learned that. Oh, Marcella, that recently. I okay, recently good. learned that wisdom, which is very transformative now. But when Dancing Queen came out a few weeks ago, I didn't have that wisdom. And you start thinking scenarios and you're like, oh, shit. Right. <laughs> what the hell's going to happen now? Because yeah. <laughs> the whole world's going to watch, you know? Yes. But fortunately, it's been lovely. Yes. Lovely. Really the very people nice. people are nice. So nice. Right. Your Instagram. Oh, yeah. I've noticed everyone's numbers Pop went up. up. Oh, yeah. I said, okay. Well. Right. Comes with the gig. It's very, very exciting. I it's think. been exciting. I feel like so since exciting. it came out. I was really nervous. October 4th, I was like, oh my God. Then <laughs> yeah. where are you? No yeah, idea. two days before you were a fucking wreck. Oh that. my God. I was like, oh my God. And then I feel like that day, I mean, I the hours, I was like, oh my gosh, 2 a.m., 2 a.m. Come on, come on. How were you watching it at home? Yes. How were With you? Lee, oh, we, we were together. We were all together. Oh, thank I God. had a. We had two big bottles of wine. I, was, <laughs> I said, I was like, well, I'm only going to watch the first two. That did not happen. We were out <laughs> to like six in the morning, five a.m. I was like, I just have to see. Well, you want to see how they're gonna portray yeah, you? Yeah, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I bet you were. <laughs> I bet you were. Yes. So it's been fun now that it's out. Yeah, and the feedback we've got is from, really good. Yeah. It's really good. Very, and very and good. I love the way it ended. Me too. See, when I saw you guys at the premiere party, I hadn't seen all the episodes oh, yet. I was barely at the beginning of episode five. 
So when I went up to you and I was like, you know, you did so good. Oh, yeah. oh I, you didn't didn't know. I hadn't seen the way it ended. Yeah. So I'm telling Marcella, I'm like, you know, you did great. Yeah. You know, great things are going to come. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know how it ended. <laughs> <laughs> well, great things surely are coming. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. Yes. And I think my favorite is at the end, the end, the very end. When Alyssa with that popcorn. Yeah. Yes. I was like, that's the best. Yes. I, I mean, it's so creative. And yes. Everything. I just think it's great. And then boom, it ends. It's and like, and oh. people are dying. It's too short. Yeah. Yes, too short. Too short. Too Everybody short. wants. I mean, I think people have watched it oh, so many over. times. And you yes. see people like, I've watched it four times now. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tell us about Dragsgiving. That was so cool, too. Dragsgiving was, oh, my gosh, that was so much fun. I love that Alyssa always over decorates mm-hmm. the home yeah. you know i grew up i didn't we didn't have money growing up i mean we were middle class but not upper middle class or anything and so to go into the house and see it decked out like that reminded me of the movie richie rich <laughs> you go yeah. to oh, he has a Mac- uh-huh. yes where he has a mcdonald's yeah. and yeah. roller coasters and i thought well you know this is a slice of that yeah in its own little way and i that was my first impression and then to see shangela and just be there with the friends and we love to drink and have fun it was just a great great time shangela is in a star is born yes. correct oh, really? yes yes, so yes. My i was like i watched it and i was like wait yes <laughs> i yeah. think that's shangela mm-hmm. that's shangela uh-huh. and a star it is born, born. Oh how gosh. amazing i have a question about that movie did you see the original one no, no. I tried Barbara watching Streisand. it on Netflix. Mm-hmm. It's terrible. I love Barbara. <laughs> it's bad. I though. didn't know it was a redo. It yeah. is a redo. The third redo. Yes. Third oh. redo. I believe this is the third incarnation of that. And so I tried watching it with Barbara, but all I kept looking at was her perm. <laughs> <laughs> and like my ADD would kick in and I'm like, girl, that perm, that perm. And then I took it off. You know? What year is hers? That looks it's like the 70s. 70s. Uh-huh. Yes. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I probably wouldn't want so mm. ah, it's, it's a classic and people love Barbara, honey. They love Barbara. Oh, they love her. They do. I watched uh, one of her concerts on Netflix and she comes out and everyone's standing ovation and she finishes the first song standing over. Like, I've never seen a concert where every standing so- ovation <laughs> for Barbara. It's like she demands it kind of thing yeah they, and the people I feel are like crying. she would kick you out if you don't stand up uh, maybe <laughs> and, and the people are living and crying and, mm-hmm. and, and the way she sings is so subtle people like it's yeah. so like <laughs> okay but hey they eat it up yeah right i love it well you still hear papa can you hear me at every yeah. damn oh. dance competition mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you'll see it every at least every weekend doesn't yeah, she have that song enough is enough with uh the, the, the donna summer enough is enough yeah, is enough. yeah. it's like a, d- a disco yeah. song oh i like Dis- that one yeah uh-huh. that one's Disco's good fun though yeah it is fun dancing that would have been our gig in the yeah. 80s <laughs> yeah. we would have jammed to that <laughs> straight up that's true um tell me about the recording studio that oh that was amazing i'm curious where that was i don't can i say i don't know we can cut it out it was at okay los angeles man that was cool we get off the uber we had just landed and now we have to go to and i'm looking at this like what how insane so we walk in and there's Rod Stewart and wow. Meg, wow. like mega stars that have recorded their albums there. And we're in these recording booths. And so the booth that Alyssa was in, I believe they had told us that Nicki Minaj had just been in there. And I believe that's who they said. I could be wrong, but I thought this is insanity. The experience of being there and here your friend is recording a song. At it's like unbelievable. This, it is unbelievable. It's like, but Thank you for sharing that with yeah. us. Yes. I was so glad to be there because I've had experience in the recording booth and I could have I was there to guide him because I've been in studios with the list where he's recording and he's like, How does this sound? How does this sound like girl do it more like this, you know? Right. But I will say the engineer is a genius. He was the one mixing everything. He did it so professionally. He was so nice. I feel like we're 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 living in a dream. Yeah, right. Yeah. I feels bet. like we're living in a dream. I bet. That is unbelievable. Unbelievable. And I love the song and my favorite mm-hmm. is when, but in general, even in the show, 
Edgar, Edgar, Edgar. Edgar. <laughs> so funny to me. I love you, Edgar, so much. I have known Edgar the longest. Really? Yes. I met Edgar when I was 19, I believe, 19 or 20. We became the bestest of friends. He had a crush on one of my best friends, and that didn't work out. And me and him became really good friends. He threw my 21st birthday party. And it was a, a phenomenal house party. And we've been very close since he introduced me to the world of drag. Um, and how weird. He is actually a beautiful drag queen. Miss Talia no Edwards. Oh, man. Yes. That's- his drag. Okay, yes. he does drag. Got he, it. He I does saw, it for Halloween. Uh, I saw a picture. It was a, whoa, Edgar. That's him. Beautiful. Beautiful oh, for yes. Halloween. He he will dress up. So we'll see that here soon. And no, but yeah, how weird. Unbeknownst to me, when I met him, he was already really good friends with Alyssa Edwards. Oh, really? So all the how back. weird how the dots all mm-hmm. connect. Yeah. And so, oh, yeah, he's the bomb. So what are you going to be for Halloween this year? Because last year I saw you at the house and you were rhinestoned i totally threw that on last minute i really haven't had time to think about halloween like i'm hosting a big ass party tomorrow at the roundup yes saloon the strut two party and um i don't know i'm I'm just gonna probably show up as myself i don't know throw (laughs) blood all over me i don't know something very i think the older i've gotten i love halloween with all my heart but i just don't have that time right now for it but i hope down the road as things go, change, yeah, I would love to get back into Halloween. I, it's a fun time. It's so fun. My I son love it. loves it. I, love it. Too. I never dress up as anything, though. I just wear something crazy. Oh, uh, when fun. I have... although this year I want to be a disco ball. <laughs> oh, How are you gonna do that? Yeah, it's fun. I have a whole full body suit that looks like a disco ball. Oh, that's it's hilarious! Are you gonna make it? No. Oh, <laughs> that'd be way too much time. Yeah, I can't wait to see that disco ball. The DJ. Yes. <laughs> right. Yeah. I love uh, that. Um, tell me a little bit about the House of Edwards. Like, how we asked Frankie a little bit, but I want to know a little bit more, like the insides of it. I mean, the House of Edwards. So, Justin is the mom. No, Justin, how does this work? He is the drag mother. mother. He is the star at the top of the Christmas tree, and everyone is an ornament. I if like we were going to you know we're going to describe what it is now the house of edwards is definitely it's evolved now especially with this show including friends close friends supporters dance kids and some of the drag family the real original house of edwards i would say is edgar mm-hmm. his uh brother uh layla who does drag Alyssa, Shangela, Laganja, Stranja. I believe though that is the, the That's original. That's the original House of Edwards. Yes, the 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 Spice Girls. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. That is them. And as 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 things have evolved and and now we have the House of Edwards, which is the friends mm-hmm. like Abby and mm-hmm. everybody supporters. Now it's become this. But it really is just a huge support system team family that Justin's created mm-hmm. with 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 all of us. That's very and cool. And that's what he said at Drag's Giving. Yeah. Yes. I love what, how he kind of explained it. Yes. It's a I said in an, in another show before um I relate to it because coming from a different country. Yes. Um I had no family. Yes. So I, all my friends became my family. That's and you how that make happened. and so that's kind of the same. Yes, and in all these years um a lot of us we've we've spent holidays together. Mm-hmm. Not just for this show or anything that I mean, we really do get together for holidays, Uh, New Year's, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter. We've been doing this since before the house, like his. Oh, yeah. You've been doing this this physical new house. bought, And so it's just so cool now to share it on television with more people. I like meeting you guys and everything. It's cool to see it evolve. Mm-hmm. And I feel so bad that in New York City, we went to New York to, you know, do all this hoopla. <laughs> and my crazy ass 
didn't even get on time for like to walk on stage with RuPaul. No, you, you saw all the. Oh, I remember you got you were late. I was late. I don't remember I saw it on your story. I was like, what are you doing? I was <laughs> late, and here I'm waking up in New Jersey, looking at them on stage with RuPaul, and I'm like, I'm not even dressed. I'm like, oh, oh my no. god, FOMO, I'm, big time. I missed out. <sighs> on a lot of New York and I felt bad but I'm not going to beat myself up because I feel like there's so many great opportunities coming, coming and I pray to be for those but I was late because I hadn't been to New York since 2011 and girl they don't close those clubs till 4 mm-hmm. in the morning I love that that's my, like Europe yes <laughs> yes 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 and and my my best friend Eric and and another good friend of mine Mark they flew down and we just lost track of the time to be honest <laughs> shout out to the fruit roll up Shout out oh to the yeah. food roll up. That's another They're podcast on, show, yeah. on here. Yes. <laughs> we we lost track of time and I woke up and I'm like, oh, darn, I'm late. But I showed up around like That's two. all that matters. I showed <laughs> up. You, know, you were there. Two. I was there and I'm glad I got to see people and see DragCon. Alyssa was definitely the highlight, I would say, of DragCon New York City. Yeah, I heard there I was heard, like people yeah. waiting in line for six hours. Oh, table, yeah. her line. I've been to many DragCons with her, the ones in Los Angeles, but this one was like the the what i saw on video what i saw physically i mean my god it was the wrongs of people the fanship has grown huge for her and i i'm i'm so happy for her i'm like girl get it all yeah right get it all so exciting they love her (laughs) love her yes and i had some fans come up to me to tell me uh that especially this one guy he came up to me because his friend had a friend who loved Alyssa so much and they were coming to DragCon, but that friend got killed in a car accident. No. Right before? Around, right before DragCon. And so he comes up to me and he's like, I just would love to meet her and get a video of her, you know, sending out a shout out to her family, to those people. And so I let him skip the line so that he could do that. And she did get the phone and do that. And I thought that was so beautiful. Mm, wow. Man, talk about stories. These people really love her. Like, it's, wow. it's I think. Ten. She's so inspiring, and so I right. would watch her YouTube, the Alyssa Secret. Yes, just, I would have it on just because she's so funny. Like yes. it's just a positive energy, and it made me like laugh out loud. Just yes. having it on, always, always. always. Yeah, it's There's, funny. Yeah, it's those one liners and all that good <laughs> like stuff again. It's everything. just unbelievable where that comes from. She's like a shaman lady that <laughs> sits there and tells stories <laughs> about the most relatable things yeah. and everyone's laughing. Yeah. It's so unbelievable. Um, were you there when you guys went to the um, Joanne Trattoria restaurant? Did I you go was. To the, is that Lady Gaga's restaurant? It is. That's what I thought. That you guys, that I thought was cool. You went there. How was that experience? <laughs> It was lovely. You know, uh, we got there and we sat down and I think her sister and the parents were there and the waiter notices that it's Alyssa and she comes up. She's like, if you would have gotten here like 10 minutes earlier, Lady Gaga was just in the restaurant. No. No. Yeah. And so no, that would have been such a great photo opportunity. That would have been the greatest. Yes. So we missed that. Uh, The food is good. Food is good. Food is incredible at the restaurant. And is I it just, Italian? What it's is Italian. it? Yeah. I mean, Trattoria, Italian. obviously, but that's interesting. Well, Joanne is the, she sings that song. Lady Gaga has a song, Joanne, because yes. it's about her aunt. aunt. Yes. Her deceased aunt. Oh. Yes. And if you watch Lady Gaga's docuseries, uh, there's a it. part where she goes to her grandma's house and she sings it. And I literally bawled my eyes out because it's she beautiful. sings it for her by herself the first time. So the restaurant is named after, after her. her aunt. After oh, the wow. Aunt I didn't know that. Because she's very Italian. So it okay, was I good didn't food, realize though. that. Good. A little pricey, but I'm guessing that's because it's Gaga's of restaurant. <laughs> I mean, I got spaghetti meatballs. My tab was like 50 something. <laughs> 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 Lady Gaga for some spaghetti? <laughs> Girl, I'm from the hood, girl. Bring down the price. It's New York City for you. It was, too. Yeah. Yes. But I, I remember I was sitting there. I'm, I was so hungover sitting there. Everybody's talking and laughing. And I'm over here in the corner like, God, give me strength. God, give me strength. God, give me strength. <laughs> but other than that, it was a great experience. And I'm glad I went to it. Good. Um, we, You go to the concerts, too. House of Edwards goes to almost all the concerts that come through. Love it. So fun. So much fun. How do you guys do that? Like, you buy, does one person buy the tickets? Or how does that work? I mean, you're always together. We're very grateful to have the 
a hookup. You know, you shout out to Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Frankie. Um, so sweet. He, uh, I think Frankie has a booth there. Oh, I think he has a, a private uh, VIP booth there. So every time the stars roll through, you know, he invites us to go and oh, hey, let's go to fun. the concert. Yeah. You know? It is awesome. fun. Yeah. Now that makes sense. I was like, how do they get all these tickets together? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we recently saw Journey together and mm-hmm. I was just so beyond thinking I'm here watching Journey. I grew up listening to this stuff. Mm-hmm. Tina Turner and well, I mean, Tina retired, but you know, that genre of music. And I'm like, that's amazing. Right. So that's it was a great fun. experience. And that, we saw Pink. Pink was so good. That was not too long ago, concert. right? Yeah. I not heard she's amazing. Hear. It was amazing. I heard that. I started crying near the end because I grew up with her music mm-hmm. and, and, and listening and seeing her there. I'm like, this is so full circle. That's so special. I'm so happy you guys get to do all that. It's good times. Um, the one woman show. Man, I, Marcella and I got there yeah we wanted to stay but in true Alyssa edwards fashion she is always appears a little bit later than yes. <laughs> supposed to. and yes. i had to go get my husband from the airport i was so bummed i we, know we missed it. We well we missed watched the rehearsal her we yeah. watched everything until the real performance oh like, no oh. I know. So it was good y'all yeah. uh marching band realness tons uh-huh. of fans right. by the the end of the performance the line, she stayed till every person got a photo. People that traveled from the country, they came. I think some people came from Paris, Texas, which I think is three hours away from here mm-hmm. yeah, for that fun. event. And it's like these fans are real, real fans. fans. It's so cool to see that. That is so amazing. It's so amazing. I don't know how she gets that energy, but hey. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's what I, I have asked him so many times. How do you do it? Because when we would see him at competition, he would go, yeah, I, I just flew in from Australia. And then he's at competition. I'm like, how are you doing this? He doesn't sleep much. He is blessed with an Energizer Bunny battery mm-hmm. inside because we'll be at the hotels and, and it's eight in the morning and he wakes up. As soon as those eyes pop <laughs> right open, it's 100 miles an hour. It's just that that's the nature. Yes. And to all the fans watching and listening, it is not an act. He is genuinely that way all the time. Silly, funny, hyper, energetic, creative. He is like that. It's an enigma. I'm like, that is a living energy from another planet. But I think that's why the show is doing so well, because I truly feel that it's, I mean, obviously it's a reality TV show, so you have to, um, stage certain scenes but most of it is really real like is this so real <laughs> like I thought it was, for the most part it seems so real to me like people ask me out on the streets you know is that stage and i said no i mean that was really how those cookies <laughs> yeah. crumbled right now it's edited they're gonna take Obviously. it back and edit it but what well you i saw, think on camera because we say when we even have people in here i think that the things that come across the best are people that are genuinely and unapologetically like themselves like yeah. you oh, are well thank exactly. you thank so you so much so i feel like if you hide stuff or if you are pretending like putting on an act for camera especially for reality right because i'm not an actress or actors whatever you are you, now <laughs> oh god no not really <laughs> but if you are on tv like that or recording you have to be genuinely who you are and i think he yes. is i tell people that too they're like is he like that i'm like yeah, that's, I've that's never him. seen him not that way. That's mm-hmm. him. And it's amazing. And I think uh, in my mind, the way you authentically just be yourself is once it's action, don't even think about nothing. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. if the thoughts come through your mind, just ignore them. And the real you will just manifest out. Because if you go on camera and you're like, you know, <laughs> that's already that's already yeah, you're, you're not thinking good. about it. Right. And um, I read some really cool Bible verses the other day that mm-hmm. talk about speaking in public. Really? And one what? of them. What one of them. Oh, girl, I have them on my phone. Please read them. Yes. One of them says, do not premeditate too much what you will say. Mm. Let God channel through you. And that is how you become your authentic self. I have them on my phone. Yeah, when people and, come through here and have stuff written out, you can tell immediately. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, it's, it, it's uncomfortable or they might miss a word or stumble over something because they're trying to read something instead yeah. of just talking right. as themselves. And, and, and if we try too hard 
then you're not allowing God to do what God wants to do with mm -hmm. you. You're trying to be in control. But if you let him be in control, you're going to be so surprised with how big and badass you can be. Mm -hmm. These Bible verses really get me through public speaking because what it teaches it's it's not really you talking it's god's spirit talking through, through you. you and ah. that takes the weight off of you anytime marcella moving forward if you got to go on tv or anything yeah. or anything you do uh -huh. replace the i, I. with him and oh it gosh. takes the pressure off of you i'm gonna keep that forever. Can, I, can i do it can i what if i'm boring what if i'm this what if they don't like me what if what i i i the problem with i is it's the middle letter in anxiety and it's the middle letter ah. in pride i Pride, I, anxiety, mm. I. Stop saying I, stay, say he. He, yeah. Because he promises so much good mm -hmm. stuff that it takes the focus off you, the pressure off you, and you let God do what God does, and you will just shine. I love that. That's how it keep works. that forever. That is how you become your authentic self. You surrender yourself, and you let God turn you into who he needs you to be. Surrender control. Yeah. Control is where anxiety comes from, wanting to control everything. <laughs> we're not God I'm, out of control. I'm just like speechless that is how I have found to be authentic <laughs> you guys all do that to me Frankie left me speechless too <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, that's that. the only two times oh Frankie's really good I saw wow. him talking in Spanish the other day on his Instagram and I thought oh that's mm -hmm. good I said he could do like morning news in Spanish mm -hmm. you know I mean because it was so eloquent so perfect and I don't know if that's his first language but I said that's good I saw a Can star there. Can you read those Bible verses? You have yes. Those? These Bible verses, you know, I love to share it. Um, let me see real quick. I don't want to no dead air. It says, now go. I myself will help you with your speech and I'll teach you what you are to say. For it is not you who speak, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. This is God telling mm -hmm. you that. This is the Holy Spirit will give you the words to say at the moment when you need them. I'm like, for I will give you words and wisdom that none of your adversaries will be able to resist or contradict. God is going to be that amazing through us. And then it says, don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Boom. <laughs> Hello? I never thought of that as being selfish, but it's interesting. It is to because it that way. The, the, the energy behind, let me put on what I think should be on is I want people to be impressed. Mm -hmm. But people are impressed by realness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They love a real person. You know, right. they love that. That's impressive. That's relatable. A real person that tells the truth. That, yeah, tell mm -hmm. the truth. And you the can't truth. be real without telling the mm -hmm. truth. Yeah, and stop being scared of, of if they don't like you, then that's their, they yeah. missed out, man. Because, yeah. you know, who cares if you eat Big Macs at night? <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's the real me. Like, I, I'm on my Instagram. You will see me eating ramen noodles and, you know, all this hood food. My friends call it jail food. <laughs> but I love it. I, you know, I'm not rich. Not yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got to throw it out there. Out there. Right. But yeah, that's my spiel on how to be your authentic self. I love that. Stop trying and start letting God do what he has to do. Which is why I think that Alyssa is so good because she doesn't care what anybody thinks. She has that mentality. Me and her, uh, we, there's a spiritual teacher named Joyce Meyer. I'm yeah, sure some yeah, of her. your listeners mm -hmm. will know about her. She's yeah. been preaching forever. Me and her actually listen to a lot of her teachings. Okay. And so we have that in common. And it's so much fun because Alyssa gets a lot of that strength through spirituality, too. If anybody was wondering, I'm sure I could say that. You know, I don't want to speak for her, but I understand that she does rely a lot on her faith. And I love that. I yeah, do too. I, I, I did a that. Bible study on choice, on a choice Myers thing one time. Yes, it's have very, you ever read good. Battlefield of the Mind? No. I know that, but I have not read it. No. Girl, it'll change your life. I promise you. Yeah, everything that I've been preaching to you about from Battlefield of the Mind. Mm -hmm. I read that book, and it, I, it tra you transcend, honey. Well, it's amazing what your mind like how that works, like what you can tell yourself or what you, I mean, really what you're telling yourself and what you're feeding your mind and what you surround yourself with. I mean, it's just crazy what we can do up here. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, it's an, it's an amazing gift. Yeah. But the best thing is to know what is real. Mm -hmm. What is the real reality? You know, all of us have opinions on how we see the world. Everybody's living in their own world. But what God does is he gives you a reality. Mm -hmm. This is the the building blocks, everybody. <laughs> and so once you learn that reality, it's called a spiritual reality. It's tangible. It's mm -hmm. here for you. Man, you're, you're going to just soar out of control. Yeah. You know, I still have intrusive thoughts. I think, you know, we all know That's, what that is. Yeah. But you learn how to say bloop, 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 bloop. Yeah. And they all go away. Yeah. I love that. You know? 
They do. The more you meditate on it, the more, please read Battlefield of the Mind, folks. You will gag. <laughs> Life changing. Life changing. Yeah. It's very easy to read, and it just kind of like makes you go, "Dang, this is good." I've been wasting too much time doing nothing. Mm-hmm. Um, Chris, would you please tell us anything else that you would like to say about? the show anything else that's on your mind i just want to say that this show is for everybody it is all inclusive like Alyssa says exclusive <laughs> um it has been a great privilege being on it i want all of y'all to tweet netflix that y'all want season two three four five six seven eight <laughs> i want y'all to um share it with your friends tell have watch parties you just Spread the love. It's so much fun. And stay tuned because I swear to you, it's <laughs> only going to get crazier, bigger, better, wilder. I mean, you can only dream bigger, right? Amen to that. After Amen. this, that's it. Can I please share your social media handles for everyone yes, to find yes, you? please, please do. Um, oh, Mir. Yes, oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. yes uh, <laughs> on Instagram, it's Mr. Chris Sapphire, M-R Chris Sapphire, C-H-R-I-S. S A P P H I R E. And then on Twitter and Facebook, you can find me under just Chris Sapphire. And that's me. I love your last name. That's, Thank you. I'm like, oh my God. It's a jewel. It's, yeah. Oh, it, it, it stuck. <laughs> it stuck. Love it. Yeah. I could never go back. My real name is Christopher Soto, but Chris Sapphire stuck, God, 10 years ago. And everywhere I went, whether it was the show or the TV or anything, they used it. And I love so it. I, I said, keep that. I forever. said, well, this yeah. is me now. Yeah. And I remember one time I thought in my kitchen, I said, maybe I've gotten a little too old for this stage name. Maybe I should use my real name. Then I thought of Neil Diamond, the singer. And I said, well, if he's a diamond, I'll just be <laughs> Sapphire, Sapphire forever. There you go. Keep it. You know? I don't even know it any other way. I love there we it. Go. Yeah. <laughs> On that note, everyone, thank you for listening. Thank you thank so you. much. Watch Dancing Queen. <laughs>